Hey, what's up guys? I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make a live wallpaper for your Mac. Um, looks something like this. I mean, you can get whatever you want, but it'll look something like this. Um, first things first, this is going to kill your battery a little bit faster than if you didn't have a live wallpaper, but it's still a really cool feature, I think, to have, or at least be able to do. So, um, first things first, you're going to come into Safari. You're going to want to look up... Oh my god. Nerd tool for Mac. It's going to come up like this. Click Nerd tool for Mac. You're going to want to download Nerd tool for Mac. It is free. Click download. I'm not going to download it again, but you just click here and it's going to download. You might need to change your system preferences. Come into here, security, privacy, and then change it to anywhere. Download from anywhere because I don't think that it's a identified developer. So once you do that, you're going to get it. It's going to look like this. Sunglasses. Click the glasses. You're going to come to your configuration menu. I'm going to turn mine off really quick so um, you can see what, how you do this. So I would recommend starting with a plain colored wallpaper, maybe white, gray, whatever, but something plain. You're going to come here, click the plus, quartz, new quartz log. It's going to create a new one locate I'm already in it but it's probably gonna bring you to desktop so you're gonna to go to Macintosh HD system library you're gonna to go to your screen savers where's it at so it automatically has built-in quartz files like little QuickTime videos um, that your computer has when you get it so you could use either of these two just, I'm just gonna click this one so it's going to load that into the nerd tool. Um, you can kind of see it right here, but you got to change your frame rate. It's at one frame per second right now. I recommend going anywhere from 30 to 35. I'll go like 33. So once you have it up, you can see that it's running. You want to click size to screen. Turn it off. Turn it back on. There you have it. I'm going to close it. So it looks like this. Woohoo. This one isn't very good or like not very HD because it's just it's taken from a smaller file and blown up but it'll look better if you go and download them so you can go to Google and you can just type in like quartz yeah file screensaver and there's a ton of them that come up so um screensaver you can come here there's a ton of a moving water holiday screensaver there's a ton of different ones you can also create your own if you want and you can create something like what you first saw, something like this. You can easily create something like this. Um, to create something like this, you probably, you're going to need Xcode. Um, and once you have Xcode, you're going to want to load up Quartz Composer, which is in the app dev downloads when you download the graphic options for Xcode. So you can just create your own there. And then once you create your own there, you can just save it to your desktop and then plug it back into Nerd Tool. And you don't even need Nerd Tool running to uh, have your wallpaper. It'll just come back up. Um, so you can restart your computer now, shut it down, whatever, and it'll always be there. And then you just go back into Nerd Tool to turn it off or change it. So yeah, that's how you do that. It's super simple, like, and it looks really cool. It's really easy to do. And there's like a million different things you can do, especially if you can make your own. You can, like, the possibilities are endless. You can create whatever you want to create and make it into a live wallpaper. I recommend messing around with the frames per second, the rates and stuff, just to see what you like best. But this is a really cool um, wallpaper to get, and so it's something different. So uh, I hope you guys like the video, um, and I hope it's easy for you guys.